Hey everybody, welcome back to the Ridgeway World. I'm Psycho Dad, you're not. This is my lovely wife, Terry. Hello, beautiful people. And we're back again because we had so many questions. And, and this is part two. Part two. So, moving on. This is Rage Turtle DXR. How is it looking back at who you were before Jesse became a YouTuber, then looking at who you are now, where almost everyone in the world knows you and your family? Uh, that's a good question, Rage Turtle DXR. Uh, we, hmm. before, before the YouTube videos, we were very, very much, very kind of more or less private. And then once we, we did the Psycho series, it became... It opened up a whole new world. Yeah, it opened a whole new world. Yeah. It was just like the first time we went to, um, VidCon. And we were cornered in the, in the part of the stadium with uh, hundreds of people and it was just nonstop questions and pictures and stuff like that. It wasn't something we were used to, but over time we got used to it and we know basically how to handle it and, and talk to people and not be overwhelmed. I, I would say it was just overwhelming coming from uh, before and then after the Psycho series, wouldn't you say? Uh, before YouTube came, it would, I mean, what is specifically is the question like before YouTube what was life like before YouTube, or yeah. what was life like um, afterwards? I think it was, you know, life before, and then what has it changed afterwards? That's basically, I think, the question. So yeah, I think it just opened a whole, it, like I said, it opened a, a whole, whole new, world. new world. Yeah, and um, you know, especially, especially, you know, it lets you connect with people that you normally would never connect with. Right. And. Uh, yeah, I think it's been a good thing, a yeah. positive thing. I don't think it's it's at all negative. No, and 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 ninety five percent of the fan uh, meetups have been great, maybe even ninety eight percent. Everybody's respectful, you know. Whether we're in Carolinas, New York, California, wherever it was, everybody's been everybody's been great. So yeah, it's been, it's been a good thing. This is from Brittany Duke. Hey, Britt. Hi, Hope your Brittany. dad gets better. Um. Jeff, how's it having your own YouTube channel? Uh, it's actually pretty good. Uh, it helps out because my lovely wife here is is uh, does all the video work and um, you know the editing and stuff. Which not that I don't have time for, but I don't have the patience for, which makes it a lot easier. And as long as we're just doing our own thing and you know what we want to do, it's fine. If it, if if it ever becomes too much of like a chore or a job, it may change my yeah. thought. But right now. Um, um, we're enjoying it, so. And then I think she had one. Uh, any plans to travel in the summertime? And I think uh, we covered that earlier. Uh, and again, I'm not, I know we're repeating ourselves a lot in the video, but again, we were trying to give everybody a, a, a time with their, you know, put their name out and stuff like that. So Britt, yeah, uh, we'll do our camping and we go to uh, Carolinas. And we also got a Virginia trip planned this year out in the middle of nowhere, do some fishing, things, you know, things of that nature. And yeah. Just try to have some fun and enjoy life because God knows it's one day at a time. Mm -hmm. uh, Morgan Roberts, ever thought of visiting Wales, the UK? Uh, I was in London uh, quite a few years ago. I loved it, loved the town. Uh, had a good time there. Jesse and I went there and we were on a virtually famous TV show, uh, but have not been to Wales. And I apologize if Wales is in London, I'm sorry. <laughs> But I don't I, remember. We were in London for like five days for that TV show, and I, we only got a little bit of time to do any sightseeing. I've never been. I've never been there. Right. I, I would. I would like to go. So, I guess we're going to be traveling to Wales then, right? Well, we might At have to time. wait till you retire. Right. I know. Uh, Braden, question for Jeff: Who is your favorite NFL player of all time, and favorite MLB player of all time? My favorite uh, NFL player: Bart Starr. Uh, I, I used to have an autographed picture of Bart Starr when I was a real little kid from my grandparents. I lost it, and uh, but I have Bart Starr's jersey. Um, I was before he passed. I was looking online trying to find one that was autographed. I would, but it, I didn't get it. So, but either way, he's my favorite Major League Baseball player. I used to be a Mike Schmidt fan, but then uh, I don't know. Not that not that I'm not a Mike Schmidt fan, but. I always like Steve Carl. I always like the Phillies. So I would say any of the uh, older Phillies guys, they were they were always good. Lenny Dykstra, I always cracked up at him, and uh, Larry Bell, uh, 
uh, Greg Luzinski, you know, they, they were probably my favorites. So, how about you, hon? Um, I don't have a favorite NFL. Okay, how about this? Ross Darnell, please allow me to rephrase the question. What bands do you and Terry like the best? Oh, bands. Well, I like I like country music. I like a little rock and roll. I like 70s. I do like 70s. It's not like a, a any certain band. I enjoy a lot of different music. Um, I don't have any certain band though. No, and um, and me, I'm all over the place. I, I I do like a little bit of country, but I like more of like the uh, 70s, 80s, and then also like Beatles, things like that. So probably the Beatles. You used to love the Beach Boys. Beach Boys were another big one. Good point. I forgot about the Beach Boys. Good vibrations. And Ooh. you used to like Asia. Asia, yep. Yeah. So, um, Marshall, did you guys get to see any extended family over the holidays or do anything special? Just the immediate family. Yes. Yeah. Yep. We had uh, the Terry's side on Christmas Day. Uh, we usually do my side on Christmas Eve, but you know, over the past and then year, Jesse and JT so. and Miranda and Ashley were here on Christmas Day, also. So we just well, kept it, it was close. A good Christmas. It was better than last year. Yeah. Yeah. Last year was not good. Caitlin Oldenburg, what's your favorite show to watch? I like, well, John. Well, I like the, Yellowstone right yeah. now, but does she say favorite present time? Uh, it doesn't matter, I don't think. I lost it. Where the hell did it go? I mean. Oh, what's your favorite show to watch? Well, either way, before she gets the answer, we just rewatched the fina finale of season three of Ozark because the, on January twenty oh. first, Ozark's coming back. Yeah, out. that's we a loved good one Ozark, too. and this will be final I love season. Love Jason Bateman. Right, we love we love Yellowstone, and we like binge watching binge binge watching. Excuse me. Uh, we used. To, uh, we've done so many. We've, we've done we so many. The Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones was good. We love Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. Number Dexter, one. Dexter, we're into the Dexter. Uh, what is it, Dexter True Blood or yeah, Dexter? True Blood, yeah. Yeah. So, um, and I think the finale is tomorrow night for that. Oh, really? Yes. Whew. So yeah, so we're in that. We watch a lot of stuff. We, you know, yeah. especially in the winter and then with COVID. Hell, what else are you gonna do? You sit around the house and watch freaking shows. Uh, Jackie, what life lesson did you learn the hard way? Ooh. Ooh. Um, that's. A, that's that makes you think, doesn't wear, it? Wear, just recently, wear boots when you use an axe. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. Gosh, I don't know. What lessons I learned the hard way? I don't know. It's a tough one, huh? Yeah, it's it tough is. when you put it on a spot again. Uh, and I'm, I'm not lying to you because in these videos, I ain't lying to you. So this, we, we were just looking at this. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I can't think of anything right now. I'll think of it probably tonight. Yeah. Colin B. for Jeff. How did you become a Packers van, fan? And I think that was because when, back when I was little, me and my brother had an electric football game, one of those vibrating things with the little plastic guys. And with the set came the uh, Green Bay Packers and the Baltimore Colts. Not the Indianapolis, the Baltimore Colts. My brother was a Johnny United's fan, Matt, John Mackey fan, all these Colt fans and I was a Packers fan so we would always have head-to-head -head football games and, and then the winner basically beat the shit out of loser or something like that we always fought and rolled around and wrestled and stuff so that's when I became a Packers fan so I hope that helps uh Braden Hartman would your life be the same if Jesse hadn't started the Psycho series no no nah, probably wouldn't no so I don't. I, I can't elaborate on it, but it probably wouldn't be the same because uh, a lot of doors have opened for us. A lot uh, of yeah, and things that have like happened because of the Psycho series, like you know, MVE and all the other things, and Story Fire. I mean, I never knew I liked to write, and right. I probably would have never known that if the whole thing wasn't set into motion by by Jesse starting um, entertaining and storytelling. And Braden's other question, and do you still think about Angry Grandpa? Uh, yeah, off and on. Angry Grandpa, he, he's a good man. Um, I wish I met him. Yeah. Him and I got along. We uh, communicated a lot uh, after we uh, did that collab and everything. And uh, yeah, 
good people. So, yeah, I think about Angry Grandpa all the time. Uh, do you, th oh, this is from Uncle Mike TV. Do you think you would react to videos on your channel? Uh, that's a hard maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. If it, again, we, uh, when we made the decision to do this, it's just stuff we wanted to do. I'm not, I'm, we're not. It would have to be something, so, a video that was like so meaningful that, warranted a reaction yeah. that I, that we would feel that we had to react to it yeah so. i and, and i don't want to get to the point where we're just reacting to videos to make no, money but even or like get, just see, just yeah. even just a one yeah. time it would have to be something that would be something special yeah yeah good question though uh oh this is another one from jackie with a winky cat face what lasting impact do you know you've made in the world uh, that I produced or we produced two children that have impacted the world in more ways than I can describe yeah. or, or more than I can emphasize how proud I am of both my boys. So that, that is my, and I don't want to take well, away from you. No, and I, I do feel that that was my life's purpose. Oh, so I stole it from you? To, oh, no, you oh, didn't okay. steal it. I mean, you, more than one person can have the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm that I, t for them, um, and I don't know. I, I guess yeah, that that would be probably I, I my think, answer. Yeah, also. I think that's the 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 other the other thing I would say is that we we also didn't realize at the time doing psycho series how much we were affecting people, and then even afterwards during other series and and you you read. Um, these Good comments point. and these fans saying that it, you know, literally helped them through certain uh, problems and that they were able to escape. So it, it yeah, it kind of made you feel good that you were able to take somebody's mind off of something terrible. Right. You know, that so, was good. Yeah. That was good. I, I forgot all about that because there were so many times that Jesse would bring that up from the comments and stuff. So, yeah. you know, if, if we were able to help somebody uh, through a tough time, then that's, that's, that's paramount also. Mm -hmm. uh, next, Monique. What was the most awkward moment between you two and why was it awkward? Monique, it's because of the question. That's awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Monique. Um, oh, gosh. That's a hard question. I mean, I can remember as a teenager. I think when Terry Terry told me she liked country, that was the most awkward moment. No, I'm kidding. I would say the most awkward that I was around you in the beginning is remember I didn't want to eat. I, I oh, felt, you didn't want to eat. Yeah, she didn't want to eat in front of me. Eating in front of him isn't that weird? And I'll eat in front of anybody. Oh, I, don't, I, I don't care. Does anybody else? ever experience that but I did not yeah. want to eat in front of you and I don't know what I thought in my brain that you would think of me if you saw me eating right you know and that, I mean and that, I overcame it yes but took a while my girl can eat <laughs> hey and I can eat a hoagie over somebody pumping out my septic tank that's I can eat anytime yeah. so <laughs> okay thanks Monique for that question <laughs> Uh, what the hell? Uh, tech, tech nerd. How many extensions did you add to your house? If so, what? And what issues did you have? Extensions, you mean like uh, additions to the house? If that's the case, uh, the original house was just, if you looked through that double door there, I know you can't now, but everybody knows our house because it's all over the place. But that used to be a living room and a split kitchen. That was the old house. We added this living room, this this room, and uh, the basements. That's we added another 1,200 square foot. So they're the only additions we've done to the house. And we did that. We needed we needed more room. Yes, because uh, the boys were growing, uh, yeah. and we were just running out of room. So, but yeah, that was the only addition we ever put on the house, uh, other than the and garage. And we wanted to and, spoil ourselves a little bit. Yeah, because <laughs> God, we we deserve it, you know. So and we pay for it. So what the hell? But good question. Uh, Johnson and Sharp's Clubhouse. What's your favorite song? And I think that was the uh, Asia song. I think because I can. That's your favorite song. I think so. And uh, Good Vibrations from the Beach Boys. So I had a couple. And what about you? I 
don't know. I mean, it's probably, I mean, it's probably something that Elvis sang, but I mean, it's not like a favorite favorite because if it was my favorite, it would like come right out of my As mouth. As I walk along, I wonder I know. what went wrong uh, with Our wedding own. song yep. means a lot Brian to me. Adams, it was yep. Brian Adams' Heaven. Um, I remember. Oh, yeah, I so, so I mean, if I had a, I can't oh. pick a favorite. I love so many songs, I do. I can't, I can't pick a Sorry favorite. if I'm squirming a lot. I broke my ass bone in a football game back in high school, so it's like, sometimes it gets very awkward. What's that called, the coccyx bone? Yeah. Yeah, so it aches still. Everyone's sorry if I sit too long with certain. Okay, uh, what's y'all's favorite movie? That was from Dark Knight, and he says mine is Back to the Future. Back to the Future was great, but my favorite movie? Mine's Green, probably Green Mile. I gotta say Lord of the Rings. I love the Lord of the Rings. I love the Lord of the Rings too. Frodo! I don't know the song about Green Mile. Plus I love Tom Hanks too. Uh, this is Dylan Loves MCU. Are you, are you saw Lance Stewart before? Yes, uh, Lance, I've met Lance before. Lance took me riding in his car. I think it was the, uh, the blue car. Uh, we did like 120 miles an hour out on the roads out here. So yeah, no, Lance, good kid, uh, good family. Uh, wish him the best. Uh, Ognig Hugo, Ognik, you, okay, yeah. How many years have you been, you guys been together? And uh, we've been married 35 years, but been, been together For 43. 40, 43 years, since January 6, 1979, when we started dating when I wore her down and asked her. How many years have you been cutting grass? Uh, I cut grass from 25 years, uh, from 1995 till uh, the year before last. And it was, I had fun with it. Do you miss it? Sometimes, yeah. No, I don't miss the headaches of it because every time if we went anywhere, every time we come back from vacation, every Sunday, I was, as soon as we unpacked the truck or the trailer, I was mowing lawns till dark that night trying to catch up and it was just it, yeah, it's it, a lot it was a lot but it it, it paid some bills so uh brandon dolan Ooh. jeff Ooh. are you going to do more psycho stuff uh only if people piss me off brandon that's that's it you do like breaking stuff. yeah I don't but know. There's got to be something that... No, bothers. I've been, I've been, uh, Brandon, I've been trying to keep my uh, anger in check, basically. I'm on blood pressure pills now, so... Um, I don't think your blood pressure pills... Do they make you angry? High blood pressure make you angry? Well, high blood pressure is part of it, Does I think. it really? Yeah. So, are you planning to go to, the, to Florida with family in summertime again? Uh, we're, we don't have any plans of going to Florida in the summertime, no. We may go in late fall... Who knows? Who knows? It depends Dude. on what the, where the world is at. Yeah. Hopefully in a really, really good place. Terry says, can you sit Indian style? This is about as close as I can get, and it's going to last about two minutes. Um, Joe V, did you ever think you'll get your own YouTube channel? You should also do a cook-off with, with Larry. And again, we covered that, that in the like beginning. That's like four people who yeah. have asked for that. Yeah, and, and the YouTube channel, again, I'll answer you that. You got to wait until it gets a little warmer yeah. out, though. But now I never thought I'd have a YouTube channel, but it's been fun so far. Uh, Ian, could I come over in the summer and swim in that nice pool you guys got? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Justin J.D. Dart, question for Jeff. Do you actually plan on meeting Jack and Steven from Waffle Pone? Uh, I, I don't plan on it, but if I do, you know, it's, it's all good. I know, you know, Jesse, Jesse was out there and, and seeing him and everything, which was a big thing that Jesse wanted to do. They were an inspiration to him in the uh, Psycho series. So uh, if, if our worlds collide, yeah, so be it. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll hook up. Uh, as for Terry, I don't have any questions, but I just wanted to wish you and your family well. Aww, that was you. very nice. Very nice, Justin. Thank you. Uh, Terry and Jeff, this is from Taro's. Which scenes were the hardest physically or emotionally to shoot in the Psycho series? Oh. Emotionally would be the divorce. Physically, I don't think I had anything that was physically demanding. Yeah. Um, but emotionally, I think the divorce was, even though I had a, a very emotional scene with Jesse when, when he read that letter to me and um, when he came to the little house, 
Um, but I wouldn't say that that was a demanding one. That was a really heartfelt, great scene right. between us. And, and and not to blow smoke up my wife's butt, but she she is a very good actress. And <laughs> hands down, she is by far a heck of a lot better than I am. I and I just want her to know. No. We're all nope. good. We all have Stuff it. Own. I'm giving you a compliment and take all right. it. Because she can whip up tears like no one can. Yeah. And you can, emotionally, you can get into a character. Sometimes, you know, I can't. And I, I'm just saying, you did a great job. Thank you. Take it. Well, you know, you didn't answer that question. What the, was the physically, what's, what was the physically demanding and physically, emo, no, yeah. Physically the, emotional. And emotionally demanding. demanding. Right. I, I, think the, I think the demanding one was, is when we were at Aunt Jackie's house, the little house, and I had the strangulated hernia, and then when I had to, Jesse and I basically were arguing over it because he wanted me to, I, guess, I think I was lifting the cabinet or something, and then I had to move that out, and then I had to fall off the deck, and I was so worried about that, that, about this hernia that I was getting operated on the next day, I think that was probably most my most uh, strenuous and uh, most uh, emotional because I was just worried about it because anybody has a hernia and you know if they rupture, you know, you could die. So that was my thing and we argued over it, but we, we hashed it out. I kind of exaggerated my fall, jump off the deck, and he yeah. still brings that up. JT brought it up, Larry brought it up, everybody brought it up. So that was probably mine. It's all good. Okay, what are we up to next? Well, you can lay down I, there was the uh, Josh Collins. How'd you guys meet? We already did discuss that. Uh, Corey Lai Gill. I think we already discussed that too. How do you feel about Australia? I think we already covered that. Yeah, which we we. Have you seen that. the Squid Game? And this is from Las Vegas News. Yes, we did. We watched the Squid Game. Yes. And it was different, weird, but we really enjoyed. It was it. very good. Yeah, it was very good. I yeah. agree with you. There. Very suspenseful. Yes. Uh, no, no chewing wood. Crystal, right? What is the favorite thing to do with the family? Uh, eat, drink, and be merry. I like playing games. Uh, I like playing croquet. I love our, our matches in croquet. I like playing any games, any time that we're together. I love when we go to North Carolina or fishing. Um, just anything that we do together, we have fun. Uh, Austin Doherty, and if I... Hacked your name, apologize, but this is another one. What's it like to be recognized in public? And, uh, I, it, you know, it's different, but we've, we've grown accustomed to it, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, what did you do, baby? What, uh, what are you doing? You know, a lot of these are, like, repetitive, so we're trying to skip through now just to get through them, but there's a, there's a lot of good questions. Can you go watch? No, I can't because I'm trying to. Uh, Brandon Dolan, are you going to do more psycho stuff? I think we already talked about that. Wasn't that on another one? Terry, are you planning uh, to go to Florida with family in the summertime yeah. again? Yeah, we already did that. Anakin Skywalker. This one's for Jeff. This coming February 6th marks the one year anniversary of Uncle Chris's passing. Will you do a tribute video for him, video for him just like Michael does with his dad? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I can't, I can't elaborate on it. I know it's very emotional when we talking about it. So I don't know how it would be if I did a tribute video. I may do something on Twitter or something. Yeah, I, I, I don't, don't know. know. I, th I think, um, I think Jesse's tribute video that he did. For your mother and asked, Uncle for, Chris. For both of them was really, really good. Um, and he has all those clips. So... Yeah, I don't know. You'd have to go into the, the family archives at your mom's ha mom and dad's house to see, to get some old pictures of those two, which I think I had asked you, you don't have that many no. uh, old pictures. No, we, we have, well, we have some, but I have nowhere where they are. I know uh, my parents cleaned out the, like the basement, the attic, and the closets and everything, and uh, a lot of the pictures and everything went went basically to everyone. So yeah. who has what, when and where, I don't know. But again, as Terry said, uh, Jesse's tribute to Uncle Chris and uh, Grandma or Terry's mom was, was great. Um, I got a Morgan Roberts here, says best of luck to you. To you. And hey, Morgan, best of luck to you and your family. Uh, times are tough. Uh, you know, we're, we're all doing the best we can. 
We're in, a, we're in a pandemic again. The Omicron is going crazy again. So just stay safe. Keep your family safe. I always said keep your enemies close, but your family closer. And that's, that's true. Um, I think there was one question here I just seen about... That Morgan Roberts again. Yeah. yeah, Morgan, do you prefer driving stick or auto? Well, if I'm going on a long trip, I'd rather have an automatic. But around town and cruising and, uh, you know, car shows, I like the four-speed, you know. But I'll take either one. But that GTO is meant to have a four-speed. And any sports car is, too. And I, and I just seen one when I was passing through here. There was something about... Have you ever been in the military? And I can't find it. I just see uh, it. Yeah, but that was down. I, it's right here. Okay. Uh, this is from Sonata. Uh, were you or any of your family ever in the mil military? If so, what did you do and how long were you in it? I'm, a ship I'm shipping out the basic training so I can do security forces, mix of MP and infantry, the U.S. Air Force. Very excited. Hey. Thank you for your yes. service. Yes, Sonata, I, I thank you for your service, uh, you know, and I and we appreciate it as Americans and family people for, for protecting us and protecting our rights. I was never in the middle, military. Uh, was, I, was your Uncle Larry was in Vietnam? My Uncle Larry, not Terry's brother, but my Uncle Larry was in Vietnam. Uh, I was in a paramilitary group for a while, and I won't elaborate on what. But that's as far as I'll take it with the military. And my brother, um, Chick, yep. he, oh. was, he was also in Vietnam. He was in the Air Force, and uh, I believe he worked on the airplanes and stuff. <clears throat> yep, and again, thank you for your service, your future service, and uh, we appreciate what you're doing for the country. Uh, Chris, what's your favorite thing about YouTube, uh, having a YouTube channel? I don't know yet. It's very new to me. Uh, I appreciate and, and, and like working with my lovely wife. Uh, she's a whiz at, like I said, at doing the editing and videoing. And she drives them, aspires me to be better. That's the best way to put it. Uh, King Lang, 86. My favorite memory is when Psycho Kid got pranked by Psycho Dad and Big Brother on Halloween. Yeah, that was... Uh, that, that, yeah, that... That's Emily Saxton. Hi, Em. Um, her, that's her. Um, he's he's talking to her. Oh, see, okay. You see this line here? That means it's the th little thread. Sorry, I, I'm not that. But no, just asking yeah. what your favorite memory is from the um, I, Psycho series. Yeah, Psycho series. Which we've we've covered, I think we've yeah. covered many times. And we we just had a good time doing the whole thing. I I, I had a lot, like I said, anxiety a lot of the times, but looking back. You know, we had a, we did have a good time, and it was a good thing to do with the family together. We were we were together all the time. Emily Saxton, hey Swift. I just. I know. I'm just saying. What is your favorite memory from the Sego series? I just wanted to throw out, hey, hey Swift or hey Emily. Carla, how often JT and Jesse visit you guys? Uh, in their eyes, probably too much. In our eyes, not enough. If that helps. Uh, Dark Madge Four. The biggest question I have to ask is, what do you think? you'd be doing now if the Psycho Series didn't happen. You already answered that did one. I? Okay. And I apologize here. I'm just trying to go through. I don't want to try to leave anybody, you know, without being recognized because we do appreciate everybody's input. We appreciate uh, and are humbled by all the support we've had and the families had over the years. So if I repeat myself, I'm almost 60 and tough <laughs> shit. So. Oh, here's a good one from Cody. Cody Trosclair. Okay, better you said that this than me. This question is for Mr. Jeff. Out of every job that you have had, which one do you did you enjoy the most? Uh, I don't know if you consider it a job, but being a father was the best job I could ever have. So That's a good answer. Yeah, I took it seriously and enjoyed every bit of it. So I even got a little emotional on that one. I got like a Aww. crackly voice and stuff. And Carla Wood, what's your favorite food? Who, me? Yeah. Oh, what's yours first? Oh gosh, it would have to be beer. Have to be crab, crab, um, crab and shrimp. But I like the Dungeness crabs, the real big crabs. Um, yeah, lump crab meat is one of my favorites. Yeah. And shrimp. I'm a pasta guy. I love pasta. I love pizza. I well, I love all junk food basically. Burger King, McDonald's. You like a good steak. Or I you like used a good. To, I anyway. used to. Uh, we've tried to be better. More chicken, more turkey. When Terry had the Alpha Gal, we we basically switched over to those those type of things. Um, but my always thing is, if you were on a deserted island, 
what food would you be able to eat every day? And I think that's pasta or pizza. So that's, that's what I'm going with. Okay. What is your favorite memory from the Christmas series? That's Matthew Cool Dude. Yo, Matt Cool Dude. Uh, the Christmas series? Yeah. And, and that's a tough one. I was like a, a basically a ghost figure, I think. Yeah. And it was good, good to have a different type of character on that. And I, I know there's some emotional stuff in here, and I'll, you take that because I no, know. No, I'm not talking about the scene in the bedroom at all because right. that was, yeah, that was. Um, no, my my favorite scene, one of the favorite scenes, is when, um, <laughs> when JT. Uh, used some foul language and I, I pulled his ear from the Christmas story and took him into the bathroom to wash his tongue out with, you know, wash his mouth out with soap. That was my favorite, I think. And then I also loved watching when Joe, Joe Bump and Jesse went over to uh, Uncle Larry's house and Tom was there alone and he set up all these booby traps. Yeah. That, that I thought that was hilarious. And they very well acted too. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, th I think that was my yeah. yeah. Was, I'd have to say that was my favorite too. Yeah, yeah. you you mentioned a lot, a lot of good scenes. So, uh, next, local rock talk nine seventy eight wanted a shout out. Hey, you got one here. I wasn't going to do one. You're not supposed to. I do. don't care. You know, it's it's in order. Or uh, here's one right here. Ethan sent. Will you help me with that one? Sen Ethan Sensenich. Sensenich. I apologize Sen already. Or Sensenich. I got. One for both of you. Mr. Ridgeway, have you always had Ram trucks, and is that your preferred brand? And, and I'll start that, and then I'll ask Terry the next question. But, uh, no, I've had, I've had a 74 Chevy, 76 Chevy. I've had uh, 87 Ford, 93 Ford. I've had all kinds of trucks. Ram trucks, Chevy trucks, Dodge trucks, whatever, back when they were Dodges. So, but I prefer Rams now. Okay, Terry's question. Mrs. Ridgeway, what are your plans after the Canvas company closes? Great job on the video, guys. Okay. Um, I plan on doing a lot of things around here that need to be done, but I also plan on writing. I haven't sat down and wrote a, a good short story in like two years. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's my plan is, is writing and catching up on some of the things I want to do, fixing up different rooms and whatnot. Now, I think we've got everything. I went all the way to the top. Okay. So, and if we miss somebody, we apologize because there was just so many. And again, I, I just want to, I want to thank everybody for all these questions. Yeah, and the screenshot. I did jot some down oh. uh, from, um, from com that, com that were commenting at a different time. So, okay, do you want them? Can you, read, you want me to read them? Yeah, you, you? read them because okay. I'm lost feeling um, in my legs and my... Right butt cheek. Sorry. TX Knoll 10. Uh, do fans still pull up to your private domain, uh, a.k.a. your home? I don't think we've had many. No. Uh, I no, mean, we, we had the police called on us, I think, on the, was it in the spring? Spring last, last or year. Or was it yeah. last fall? It was the last one, yeah. It was, but but no, it. fans we've been pretty know. good with. Uh, we run into them occasionally at like stores and things like that, but I mean, no, everybody's been very respectful to our space, which thank you all. Uh, Alec G, follow up question for Terry. Would you mind putting some pics in the vid of your boots? I'm really not sure what pics Did I Did he can say find. boots or boobs? He said boots. Oh, all right. That's. I, I look to see. I think I wore them. When we were looking at the little house, uh, like when we were first going to buy it, uh, not buy it, but I mean use it, um, I think I might have had them on. I'll look, I'll look and see. But none of, none of them will have my cowboy boots, though. <laughs> God, this shit kills me. <laughs> what? It's just that. Uh, your boots. X Ace Trigger X. Whoa. What would be your favorite memory from when you played baseball? Ooh, that's a... Okay, but <laughs> this one's a great one. Okay, I pitched basically all the time. I was I was a half decent pitcher, you know. I, I never would have made pro probably, but I was I was pretty good. And I remember pitching against a gentleman 
that ended up going to the Orioles as a, a semi-pro pitcher. So it was a, like a, a dog fight. I was I was throwing strikeouts. He was throwing strikeouts, and it was I think it was tied at one to one. We were playing at Oliver School. Not that that matters, but it's in my head. And one of the guys on this team ends up hitting this BB out the center field. My center fielder's running back, running back. Thought it was in the bag. It hits him right square in the forehead. Ooh. Bounces off his head. They ended up scoring two runs. We lose the game, three to one. So, That's your favorite memory? Because it was comical. I, you know, if if you're gonna lose, you want it to be funny, and it bounces off somebody's head. So, it was good. Was he okay? Yeah, but I didn't care. I lost the game. <laughs> <laughs> so, you wanted a story. Okay. You know I got well, a shit ton of stories. That makes no sense whatsoever. And okay. <laughs> it was Jeff Rubin. <laughs> Adam, what's your favorite memory with Uncle Chris? My favorite memory with Uncle Chris, and... Well, he's not your uncle, but... No, that's, but I That's know, how I know. everybody knows him. Me, me and Uncle Chris, or my brother Chris, used to play Luna. wiffle ball every Luna. night. We had a septic lid in our backyard. We had the camping trailer, my parents' camping trailer to the left, which was left field. We had a big hedgerow to the right. So we would play pops and grounders constantly out there. Um, so I remember, you know, games like uh, football, electric football. I remember, you know, uh, wiffle ball, football with the neighbors, our whole backyard stretched three yards long so we had a regular football field and we would play football in the evenings and so I had a very good childhood very blessed so sorry that's okay um oh buddy camp what political party are you registered with buddy technically I'm an independent I am not registered to any party I'm an undeclared and been that way for quite a long time. I know a lot of assumptions were made over the years. Originally, I was a registered Democrat when I ran for political office, but then switched later on in my career. Woo! -hoo. Okay. Um, ben Mayall. Mayall or, or Mayall. Mayall have a question? In hindsight, is there any life choice you would have done different looking back? Is this for me or you? I'll, I'll oh. answer mine first, if, if you don't mind. Life choices, I don't, I believe in a ripple effect. So if, if I changed some, if, if I was a, a, had the ability to go back and change anything in my life, I wouldn't be to the point I am right now. So I wouldn't change a thing. It, it, it's no sense even thinking about it or worrying about it. I love my life, I love my family. And if I change something back then, it could alter that and wouldn't even be worth it. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. What about you? I, uh, well, I agree mostly with, with, with that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't change anything. Do I have some regrets that maybe I didn't do certain things? Yeah, but then again, like you said, if I would have done these other things, would my life have taken the path that it's taken? Right. So... Um, yeah, I'm very happy, lucky, and um, stop. <laughs> Sorry. But good I'm starting that to sweat here, too. My, my five head, I think, is starting to sweat. Okay, Kathy Swayze. Patrick's uh, sister? Where did you buy your pants? I did. My wife bought them, and I think they are champions. I actually got them from champion.com. Yeah. yeah. Be because looking back, I used to have, what was those? Psychedelic pants we used to have back in the 80s. Parachute pants? No, I didn't wear parachute oh, pants. the harem pants. My fat ass couldn't fit in a the parachute. The harem pants. Yeah, but they had a name. Zubas. Zubas. Zo Zumbas yeah. or Zubas. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, Zuba. I, yeah, Zuba. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, Zuba. I'm but either way, Zuba I love this. I love these things. And they're, they're very comfortable. And they, you know, you can basically match anything with them. Okay, so Nicholas Green asks, oh, this is pretty much what you had here. How many trucks have you had? Which I could go on for days. You know, I'm in the 50s with vehicles. So that means I've had 50 vehicles over the years. That's including a couple motorcycles. I um, like that really old truck that you had. I had a 68 F100, yes. Yeah. yeah and I had a 352 one. four barrel and a three speed on the three on the tree for you people that know cars. Okay. And final question from oh boy. Zapper Fox. Um, he wants your opinion on ferries. 
F-U-R-R-I-E-S. I'm not sure exactly what that means. If that's dogs, cats, or if it's something entirely different. Is it furries, like in furriers? You know, like people that do horseshoeing for horses? Uh, I, I'm kind of unsure. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. The second part of his, his question was, or a different question, what's your favorite video game when you guys were growing up? And I think I talked about that early on in this, you know, no, hours ago. No, I don't think ago. you did. No, I, I think I said with, with like Donkey Kong, Mario Brothers, Lost Vikings. I love Lost Vikings too. If anybody had the, has the chance to play that, like a retro, because you had the guy with the shield, the guy with the spear, and the fast guy. And you had to use them as you went through worlds. So I know Uncle Larry yeah. and I were playing at two different houses. They used to play all, right, all the right. time. So I never really got to play very much. When I did, it was the Mario uh, one, and I wasn't really all that great. <laughs> just like in real, this is man's work. <laughs> or so, just kidding. But yeah, you so Lost Vikings, you had to use each Viking, so it's like you had to throw the spear all now the way through screen. Now that's regular Nintendo, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. It's been so long ago, I don't know. But I mean, Terry got me a retro. It's up there that has a lot of games, and I think that's on it. So. Maybe te know. maybe it's time for Terry to play a few video games. Uh, well, yeah, after I, right? I, well, I want to write first, but yeah, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Well, they're retro, so they'll be around a little bit longer. Yeah. But uh, anything else? I think we've covered everything, and I hope it's been semi-entertaining. Because the one thing we do, this is this is us. This we're not putting on a, a show. This is just basically us having fun, enjoying enjoying the uh, the YouTube channel doing what we feel is right and fun and uh we appreciate all the support and yes you know i we we love bringing our stuff to you guys and you guys responding has been great and very humbling and again thank you so much for so many subscribers and let's keep going yep but other than that i think we ought to close it off we appreciate everybody watching everybody have a great day and a good night and a good life Oh you, want, oh, you wanted to add that? That's very nice. We appreciate that. Yeah. But again... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, smash the like button, please! That's... A, I was done... I forgot okay. to say that. Okay! Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>